Trust me to take you high above just to be free. I could give you love in the madness that surrounds your broken heart. Do you love me enough to just let go of the memories? Ones that aren't your soul, could you run wild? Just forget the world tonight. Nothing's gonna hold us down We're fighting up above the clouds So even when it starts to rain We're higher than the hurricane Hello Leo this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 19th of December until the 25th of December 2016. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Two of Swords. You are currently being faced with a difficult decision but you are attempting to hide from it and pretending to yourself and others that if you ignore the decision long enough, it will go away of its own accord. However, the decision will not go away simply by your willing it to depart. Your conscience will eventually force you into facing your refusal to deal directly with the situation. The Two of Swords therefore serves as a reminder that life's decisions are frequently quite difficult and raise the possibility of painful consequences. However, you must take the bull by the horns and make your decisions with your best intentions, fully aware of the possible consequences. Avoidance will ultimately lead to a greater conflict. The blindfolded woman in this card is also an indication that you lack the information you need to make the right decisions at this time. You may be missing something, such as threats or potential risks, alternative solutions, or key pieces of information. Once you are able to remove your blindfold and see the situation for what it really is, you will be in a much better position to determine your path forward. Research your options more widely, seek outside opinions and feedback, and ask yourself what you are missing here. Why is this decision so challenging to make? What extra information do you need? The Two of Swords often represents a stalemate where there is no winner or loser. You may be at loggerheads with another person and failing to see each other's points of view. What is needed is a truce where you either agree to disagree or you seek to understand each other's points of view before coming to a final solution. Thus, not only does this card represent potential conflict through a stalemate, it also represents making peace through a truce. Similarly, the Two of Swords can reflect indecision and being at an impasse with regards to an important matter. Again, there is only so much that you can try to put off. At some point or another, you are going to have to make a decision or have a point of view in order to get things moving again. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Two of Pentacles. What do you want most right now is to find balance between opposing desires and interests in your current relationship. Life will always be uncertain, yet if you can produce balance and harmony among all the demands upon you, you will ultimately live happily and in prosperity. Thus, the Two of Pentacles serves as a reminder to remain alert, agile and patient as you attempt to juggle your family, your friends, work, finances, health and new challenges. You need to be very clear on your priorities and where you want to invest your time and energy. There is a tendency to be distracted by day-to-day -day affairs and general busyness, so prioritizing your activities and carefully managing your time is essential. The Two of Pentacles brings you back down to earth and reminds you to not only focus on your broader life goals but to also make sure your day-to-day -day affairs are in order. 
This is a card of good time management and financial management, ensuring that your bills are paid on time. That you keep a record of all your appointments and daily commitments, etc. It may sound tedious having to focus your attention on these more mundane issues but this card reminds you that sometimes getting on top of your daily affairs is as important as pursuing your broader life goals. Sometimes. The two of pentacles can indicate that there are problems and difficulties in the future. There may be obstacles erected which hinder the attainment of what you wish to pursue or obtain in life. The situation may cause undue worry and again, you will be required to juggle your priorities and manage your time effectively to stay on top of the situation. Similarly, the two of pentacles predicts change. You need to be able to cope with change, remaining flexible and adaptable in your approach. Rather than putting all your eggs in one basket, you may be better to keep two or more things going at once so you have the luxury of choice, should one option fall through. You must stay centered while you stay flexible and keep informed. Look for new possibilities, be open to change and go with the flow as best you can. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the king of pentacles. You might be afraid of losing and obsessed with material things, including good food, wine or sex. These can be fun but can also be taken to an extreme. You can also be very stubborn and traditional about some things, which could be exasperating. You will do anything for money. You can be either a workaholic or an extremely lazy person who expects others to look after you financially. You may care only for your own possessions, and uses other people to gain them. The King of Pentacles can also indicate a male significant figure in your life from the Earth's signs, who can be highly rigid in his approach. So when this King shows up in a reading, look at your life. Are you feeling stuck in a rut? Having your feet on the ground is a good thing but everybody needs to lighten up once in a while and stick their heads in the clouds, even if it is just for a breath of fresh air. There is a fear of commitment or a strong desire not to be committed to anyone. You may have thought you met the man of your dreams or your future husband in this person but you have quickly come to realize that he is not what you are looking for. He may not be as reliable or dependable as initially thought, and instead he has become overly controlling, authoritative and possessive in your relationship with him. Similarly, your partner, who is normally there to provide for you and protect you, may recently be going through a difficult period and now the tables have turned. Up until now, you have seen him as your rock. Someone who is incredibly well established, accomplished, sturdy stoic, proud and successful. However, now you must be the rock and the firm foundation, supporting your partner while he regains his strength and courage. There may be increased instability and uncertainty over the coming months. In a family relationship, there might be a possibility of familial abuse, particularly through misuse of power, authority and control. You may be highly disciplinary, rigid and inflexible, failing to show your love through positive means and only suppressing the spirit of others. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the six of swords. You will need to make a regretful transition, as a likely result of the decisions you make. You know that in order to move forward, you must leave something important behind, and while you do this with some regret, you know that in the long term it is the best option for you. There are times when you will be forced to let go of something to which you have been attached, and the process of letting go is often quite challenging. However, the sadness of your loss will soon be replaced by greater clarity, bringing about a renewed acceptance of change. Do not be afraid to let go of whatever it is that is holding you in the present or the past. Instead look to your future and choose the best option that has the greatest long-term potential. 
there are going to be some hard decisions and some compromises that you will need to make but this is ultimately a rite of passage that will take you into a new phase of your life. You need to realize that you are now headed towards a much better position in life. You have endured, or are currently enduring, a difficult life transition but as a result, you will be more able to deal with what may come. Do not dwell on the past or what you have left behind. Instead, use this as an opportunity for changing your beliefs about yourself, moving away from whom you used to be and towards whom you really want to be. Sometimes the only way to solve life's problems is to leave them behind you and go somewhere new to start over. While it may feel as though you are giving up or being a coward, escape is often the only approach left when all others have failed. The important thing now is that you chart a new course that will lead to greater happiness and joy. The Six of Swords also shows the need to draw upon a state of mental clarity, logic and objectivity in order to examine where you have been and where you are going. This mental clarity will also serve to smooth the way ahead, and make the passage from negative to positive as peaceful as possible. You can use your intuition to guide you through easy situations and call upon your impartial and analytical nature when it is needed for a more complex decision. More literally, the Six of Swords can indicate a trip across water. There may be some sadness in terms of who you will need to leave behind you but you know that this trip will do you a world of good. An example might be someone who is about to travel on their own, leaving behind a partner who they will sorely miss. You may also be required to make a longer term move from one location to another, where you will leave behind friends and family in order to explore or experience a new territory. Again, while you will miss those you leave behind, you will also find that you have an amazing time on your travels and will learn so much about yourself. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the three of pentacles. There is a lack of teamwork, whereby people are acting in competition with each other and trying to appear the most knowledgeable. You may be trying to work collaboratively with others but there is an increasing level of tension as each individual tries to exert power or control over the group, thus negatively impacting the harmony of the people involved. If you rely on the cooperation of others, now may be a good time to break free of your current group or network and join forces with another group. The lack of harmony and teamwork is having a negative impact on your performance and there may be a lack of a common goal. It may be best to just move on at this stage. The Three of Pentacles signifies that you are seeking more respect in the workplace. You have had to be polite and listen to the opinions and feedback of your superiors but now you seem to be growing restless with always taking the advice, rather than giving it. You want to work in an environment where you have the chance to voice your own opinion and be heard, where you are seen as the expert or the leader. You may also be seeking new colleagues who bring with them new knowledge, so as to create a more synergistic team environment. You might be working in a fairly mundane job, in which your contributions and experience are not really appreciated or valued. There is not much opportunity for growth and advancement, and you feel as if your skills and capabilities are not being effectively utilized. It may be a good time to make a career move and find somewhere where your skills are more valued. All in all, if you do not have a clear view of how you will accomplish your goals, then it will be beneficial to stop working momentarily and plan out your next steps at a detailed level. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Five of Wands. You need to stand up for yourself and winning the conflict. There will be an end of conflict, tension and competition of some sort. It is impacting your ability to move forward with your goals, rather than being able to work together with others. 
you are coming up against it and are constantly being challenged on your point of view. The trouble is that everyone is trying to express their point of view and opinions but no one is listening, and so there is little progress. There is only conflict, and there is little or no value in the discussions that are occurring. Similarly, this card is representative of a group of people who are committed to an end but they cannot fully agree on how to implement this goal, as each has their individual agenda as to how to bring this to fruition. Aim to turn this into constructive conflict by allowing each person to openly share their thoughts but then listen to other people's thoughts. Once everyone has been heard and all opinions have been considered, determine the best path forward. The Five of Wands encourages an enthusiastic approach to change. Change is coming, whether you like it or not. However your challenge will be in ensuring that everyone is on the same page and is focused on dealing with this change constructively and positively. Currently, there is scattered energy resulting from misdirected enthusiasm. Everyone has many ideas but no one is there to bring them into one consistent path forward. Your role may be in identifying a clear strategy and purpose that can be implemented by all involved. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is The Moon Everyone experiences times in their lives when they are afraid or insecure. Sometimes these fears are based on external factors you can see, and sometimes worries stem from irrational or unreal concerns. In both cases it is important to go within and listen to your intuition as to what to do next. Ask your inner self about the source of your anxiety, and trust your guidance. The angels sent you this card because this is a time of powerful intuition and psychic ability. However, your greatest insights will be about yourself. Embrace this period of self-awareness to overcome past blocks that have held you back. Awaken to truths about yourself that you've kept hidden, and see your brilliant light. Additional meanings of this card, paying attention to your dreams. Events behind the scenes that are affecting you. False illusions. Archangel Haniel has long been associated with the full moon, intuition, and clairvoyance. Call upon Haniel for help in developing, trusting, and following your spiritual gifts and divine guidance. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.